Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Flipped Teacher Professional Learning. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a Kahoot uh, for use in your classroom or in professional development. Uh, of course we need to go to getkahoot.com in order to create a Kahoot and the first thing we need to do of course is sign in. Once you are signed in, this is of course the, uh, the main screen that you will see. To look at Kahoot's that you've made in the past, click on My Kahoot's, but today we're going to look at how to create a new Kahoot. We're going to look at creating a quiz uh, for the simple reason that I haven't looked at discussions or surveys yet. So let's click on Create New Quiz. Okay, we need to give the Kahoot a name first of all. Let's call this uh, Edition. Click on Go. Now this is the screen that we will see for all questions when you need to add a new question. You type the question in up here. So let's go with some uh, simple addition to start off with. What is 7 plus 10? Now you've got a couple of options. If you want, you can put the put an image here. Now the quiz that we saw in last week's video, uh, the p image was the question. It actually formed part of the question. You can also do videos with uh, by clicking on the video link. You can set whether or not the point, uh, whether or not the question will be worth points, and you can set a time limit for how long uh, competitors have or participants have to work out the answer and submit their answer. Let's keep this nice and simple. Uh, Ten seconds. Now down the bottom here we have our answer options. Now. By default, you get four options, but you can remove that if you need to by clicking on the minus button. I can remove options, or I can add more options by clicking on the plus button. So what is 7 plus 10? Let's give a few options. 17, 16, 18, and 15. Now, by default, they are all show as incorrect. We need to select the correct one by clicking on incorrect turning it to green. These numbers here refers to the number of characters available to us in that answer space. You're restricted to a certain number of characters and that tells you how many characters you have left. That's that question done. So at the moment I've got a couple of options. I can add an additional question, I can duplicate this question, I can cancel the Kahoot, or I can save and continue. Let's add an additional question Clicking on Add Question, we go to Question 2. You might be looking back through your Kahoot later on and you might realise that, you know what, I'm not actually happy with that particular question. It's very simple to get rid of it. Go into your Kahoot to edit, find the question you're looking for, select Delete Question, and that's done. Let's add another question again. You'll see when you add a new question, you get a new page number. This allows you to go back and forth between the questions, uh, either directly by clicking on the question number or by clicking previous or next. When you are happy with your Kahoot, we click on save and continue. This gives us the opportunity to set some details for the quiz. The language, privacy, who the audience is, a bit of a description, difficulty level, and you can put tags in. So you might decide to tag something as mathematics, addition, um, or whatever is appropriate for that particular quiz. You can also just leave this all blank. When you're happy with that, click Save and Continue. Oh, there we go. We do need to select an audience. Let's go with School. Save and Continue. Now you can give your quiz a cover image. Again, that's optional. There might be an image that's particularly uh, appropriate for your Kahoot. Uh, or you can embed a YouTube video by inserting the YouTube link in this box here. When you're done there, click on Done. You can see it's processing and it brings you up here. You've now got the option to play now, preview or edit uh, or to share it with other users. Let's go play now and this takes you to the familiar screen or what should be the familiar screen where you can see the details before you launch. Display the game pin throughout. That's what the students or your participants will need to connect with the game. I generally will have that as yes. Uh, minimise intro instructions, that shows people where they where they need to be inputting the game uh, game pin. Randomise the questions, randomise the answers, play music while waiting. Down the bottom, these are the advanced options. This one here, automatically move through the questions, is defaulted to off. If you click it, if you select on, what it will do on the login screen where participants uh, enter the game pin and add their name, 
it defaults to, I believe from memory, about 15 seconds. After a delay of, I think, you know, five or six seconds of no one joining the quiz, that countdown will then begin. When it reaches zero, it will automatically start the Kahoot. Uh, so the first few times that you're doing this with your students, you may want to turn that to off while they're learning how to navigate the website. Uh, it will also um, automatically move through the questions. So when the timer is up on a question, it will automatically go to the next screen to show the, uh, the answers and how many selected each particular answer. It will automatically go to the next screen, which shows the leaderboard. It will automatically then load up the next question. Whether you choose that option or not is entirely up to you. I tend to leave it off uh, because that way I can have some discussion with my students as we go through the Kahoot, talking about different answers that have been given. Preview brings us to this screen just here. This is the screen that I showed you last time around uh, when we looked at the tests quiz to give you a bit of an understanding of how the Kahoot site works. And edit takes you back in to edit your Kahoot. Uh, sharing with other users gives you the opportunity to put in someone's username if you know that someone else is on Kahoot and you can share that with them. I don't tend to worry about that too much myself. And then My Kahoots, this is where you go to see all of the Kahoots that you have created. Uh, you can see I've done a few, it gives you the option to play, to favourite them, uh, which essentially bookmarks them or to share them. It tells you how many times they've been uh, used for each of those options. I'll leave that there. I'd like to think that I've given you enough information to allow you to create a Kahoot of your own. Remember, you can pause and rewind this as much as you need to uh, to get another look at how we actually create a Kahoot uh, and do the individual questions. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching.